All babies are precious. We do all we can to protect them and to keep them as safe as they can be. We feed them and we diaper them. We use a car seat on every ride. We take them to the doctor for checkups and immunizations. We watch them grow. There are certain steps that parents, grandparents, and other caregivers can take to keep babies healthy and safe the first year of life. Safe sleeping is one very important way to protect these precious young lives. It's as simple as A, B, C. A, a baby should always sleep alone. B, a baby should always sleep on their back. C, a baby should always sleep in their crib. A, alone. A baby should always sleep alone in their own crib. Babies should sleep in their parents' room, close to their parents' bed, but in their own crib, ideally for the first year of life, but at least for the first six months. An adult bed has a soft mattress, pillows, and bedding that can increase the risk of the baby suffocating, falling, or becoming trapped between the bed and another object. After feeding or comforting your baby, place your baby back in the crib to sleep. Experts agree that sleeping with your baby can be dangerous. Devices and positioning props that are advertised to prevent sudden unexplained infant death are not proven to be effective and may even be dangerous for your baby. B, back. Putting babies on their backs when they sleep has saved thousands of lives because a baby that sleeps on their back is less likely to die from sudden unexpected infant death or SUID, previously known as SIDS one of the leading causes of death for babies younger than one year of age. A baby is always safe as sleeping on their back for every sleep, nap time, and bedtime. Be sure to tell everyone caring for your baby to put the baby on their back for all sleep and follow the A, B, C's of safe sleep. While the car seat is the safest place for baby traveling in a car, sleeping in a car seat or in an infant swing at home is not safe. Make sure to place them on their back in their crib for every sleep. Consider a clean, dry pacifier at nap time and at bedtime once breastfeeding is established. Keep the baby's room at a comfortable temperature, not too warm and not too cold. The baby can wear sleep clothing or sleep in a sleep sack to stay warm and comfortable. No blankets or hat are needed. Be careful not to overheat the baby. One extra layer is all you need. Breathing in smoke, even secondhand smoke, is not good for a baby. Keep the room smoke free. Don't forget daily supervised awake tummy time to build strong muscles and minimize the development of a flat spot on the back of your baby's head. C, crib. Your baby should always sleep in their own safety approved crib, bassinet, or pack and play placed away from windows, cords, or wires. A safe sleep area has a firm mattress that fits tightly into the crib with no gaps and covered with a tightly fitted sheet. Blankets, pillows, bumper pads, quilts, soft objects, or stuffed toys that may cover the baby's face do not belong in your baby's sleep environment. Adult beds, water beds, sofas, couches, recliners, soft chairs, and beanbag chairs are not a safe place for babies to sleep. One of the most important things you can do to protect your baby is to make sure you and everyone who cares for your baby follow the A, B, C's of safe sleep for every sleep. Grandparents, aunts and uncles, and other caregivers may have practiced a different way for babies to sleep when they were having children. Tell everyone that cares for your baby that they must follow the A, B, C's of safe sleep for babies. Safe sleeping is one very important way to protect these precious young lives it's as simple as A, B, C. A, a baby should always sleep alone. B, a baby should always sleep on their back. C, a baby should always sleep in a crib. Know the A, B, C's of safe sleep and do all you can to make sure your child or the child you take care of always sleeps and naps in a safe sleep environment. <laughs>